Hi everyone, welcome to BIM Parametrics and this is Mohammad Shahrukh. In today's video, we will see how we can create a topo solid in Revit 2025 using a CSV file. So basically a CSV file is a common output from a surveyor's fill collector uh, which contains a survey points. Later we can import the survey points in Revit and create a topo solid. So before we jump into Revit, let's see how does uh, how does this uh, CSV file look like. So I will go to my folder and here I have a topography survey file.csv. So here you can see it's like kind of it's an Excel file and uh, this extension is CSV. So once I open this, here I will find uh, three columns, so uh, A, B and C. So in my case, uh, the files which I received from my surveyor is not georeferenced currently. So its position is uh, from the relative uh, coordinate that is from uh, internal origin that is 0, 0, 0. So let's suppose this A represents the X direction and we can consider for example the easting and B represents the north direction and C represents the Z or the elevation. So now include using these points, okay, we need to create a topo solid. So to start with, we need to close this file first and then let's jump into Revit. So let's start a new project and I will select a metric default template, click OK. Now le let's go to the floor plan and click on the site floor plan because our top topography is uh, mostly visible in this plan. So let's go to site and then let's go to massing and site panel, ma massing and site tab and then from model site panel you click on topo solid. Once you click on this drop down, here you will find two options. One is from the sketch, another one is create from import. Now in this case, uh, we want to import our CSV file. So let's go to create from import. And here again, you will find two options. One is create from CAD and another one is create from CSV. Create from CAD is used when we have a drawing file, okay, or a, a drawing file given from a surveyor. So in our case, our surveyor has gave, gave us that it's his data in the form of CSV. So let's go and click on create from CSV. And let's select this topography survey file.csv and then click open. Next, it you will see a dialog box which is asking the unit. So in our case, uh, we have defined each unit is in meter. So here also we need to set in meters in case the surveyor has decided that each unit is in feet or inches, we can adjust it from here. So let's select meter in our case and then click OK. We need to wait up for a few seconds and then it will create our topo solid. Now you can see our topo solid has been created. Let's go to 3D view and you can see now this is our topo solid. So let's change its visual style to see it in more uh, proper way. So let me make it fine and change the visual style to realistic. So now you can see here, this is how our topo solid looks like. So you can see the depression. So it is having a very fine details and you can see there is some curb stones are visible so this is the topo solid. Now let's see uh, what is the height of it. So if you see and in our topography file, it's the height is almost going to, if you see, average of 71 meters. So let me go to Revit again and then let's go to the east elevation. And then you see this is our level one, which is at zero. And let's change our, uh, let's see the unit for our length, so UN. And then we can see the length is in millimeters, so we can make it as meter, so that we can match with our coordinate uh, with our values in CSV file. Click OK, and let's go and see. Go to modify and select align dimension. Let's measure it from the zeroth level, zero here, and up to a reference level which is showing. So it should give me something like 70, 71. Yeah, you can see. So it's showing a 71 meter. So this is how we can create a topo surface or a topo solid in Revit using a CSV file. In our coming videos, we will see how we can create the 
Turbo Solid using a sketch, uh, using a, a CAD file, and then how we can do the grading in it. Thank you very much.